I'm Dave Kessler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with some comment answering. We're responding to comments in these shorts. This comment is from Kale Scapey, 9642, on too much concrete for grounding. He says, I have a question about maypoles. Now, a maypole is a fan, like a fan dipole, except you bring like the 80 out like this, the 40 out like this, and go in between like this and so on. I have a 20, 40, 80 meter maypole and the yard center mass is just under 40 feet. I'm feeding it with 75 ohm direct burial coax. It's worked for several years now. Now I'm having problems with it. Should I use a ballon and what type? I don't think a ballon has anything to do with it. I think what's going on here is corrosion in the connections. You need to bring the antenna down and go over every joint on there. What you need is some contact cleaner. You can get it from an auto parts store and get contact cleaner. The, the classic is Deoxit D5. Okay, and you spray it on the connection and then twist the things back and forth like that. I would go ahead and do that but then use a nice lint-free cloth. This is a microfiber cloth like you would get at an auto parts store. And wipe everything off till it's dry, whatever you can do. If you need to get down inside of the holes of a SO239 connector, you can use a Q-tip or something like that to get in there with that contact cleaner and clean that thing out. I think once you go through every connection on that antenna and clean it doing this kind of thing, the next thing to check is your coax. Have the connectors started to come apart. If you're using uh, RG6, those are the F connectors. Those are crimp connectors. Crimp connectors have got two pieces of metal up against each other like this. And over time, with the temperature shrinking it and making it bigger and so on, you can start to get a bad connector in there. If worse comes to worse, chop those connectors off, put new ones on, okay? And then bring that into your shack and I think you'll be fine. Now you're using RG6, which is great for receiving, not optimal for transmitting, but uh, usually in ham radio, we use 50 ohm coax and all the balance and stuff are built for that. I think if it's worked for years, what's happened is with time, with temperatures, causing it to shrink and grow and shrink and grow and shrink and grow. And all the water it's got, all the snow, whatever, being through storms and so on, you've got a connection problem in there somewhere. So you wanna go do, and through uh, it's springtime, do a nice springtime rehab of that antenna and get it all back working again. It'll work nicely for you for a few more years until we next meet, 73.